first art video. I'm Zilli Berlin. I'm a coach and artist from Berlin. Um, and I want to explain my most recent picture to you, which you just saw in the time lapse. It's all about this picture. It's called Universe. And you saw a little bit how it developed um, in the time lapse just before this video. But I want to talk about how I got into these kind of paintings. So first, I choose the size of my material I paint on. I paint on uh, MDF. Um, I like the smoothness of the material. Um, and yeah, the size is most of the time not one of the ordinary sizes. I really like something else. And then I um, sit there or stand there in the art supply store and measure around and what feels right to me. So this is drawn on or painted on one meter by 42 centimeters. Um, and I li really like this size. I already did another picture called the present, which I might show you in a different video. Same size, so I think this is getting a slim picture series. So when I then decided for what kind of um, material I draw on, um, then I of course have to prepare the ground and uh, I'm a lazy person so I don't do much. All I normally use is some white gesso. This turns out to be good for me. Um, I always do both sides so it doesn't bend so much. Probably would be a little bit better to paint it two or three times. Sometimes I just do one. Um, but most of the time it's just two times a little bit of gesso. I don't thin it, I just use it straight from this jar and I roll it onto the uh, board with this kind of roller. Um, this one is actually not quite good. I think I'll go tomorrow and get a nicer one because this uh, is quite hairy and you see the little thingies coming off on the picture and this is of course, much more work to get rid of it afterwards. So um, after I gessoed it from both sides and also the um, corners and um, all the bits, so it's super white from all the sides, I think about a background. And uh, for me, background is always a process of getting into the work, getting into um, what I really want to explain. And I really like nice um, backgrounds where the colors go really smoothly into each other and uh, for surfaces i use a mouse lift most of the time this brush it's it's kind of a stiff brush nicely roundish and it's a da vinci 20. i'm not sure whether you can see it here uh, i should hold it correctly so this is my most favorite brush for um, backgrounds and to make uh, it more smooth um, I use the retarder. Sometimes I put it just on the surface um, or I put it on, on the brush just how I feel. And uh, yeah, sometimes it's smoother, sometimes it's not. Sometimes I also like chaos, but this one should be quite smooth. And um, I kind of like of how it turned out. Um, yeah, after the background, I normally um, start drawing. And um, this one I did just with a pencil. Normal um, pencil you get... Uh, in some paperwork shop or so. Um, normally I use B or 2B. Um, important to raise it easily, stuff, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes I also do it with charcoal, but then um, sometimes I'm in trouble with the leftovers from the charcoal, but sometimes this is also a nice effect. This one I just drew with a, with a pencil because I, in this picture, I didn't do outlines. Normally, I, I'm really into outlines, so I always think, ah, should I add outlines? This one, no outlines, universe. Um, so after that, um, I start painting. Um, and of course, for painting, I have some favorite brushes, which I just brought here. Um, this one is my most mostly used brush. Um, also kind of stiff like the one I did the background with. It's also Da Vinci, it's number six. Um, and I just love it. I really, really love it. Uh, sometimes I use a little bit bigger one, um, 
but yeah for the finer things definitely this one and for the finishing touches as well and then for some finer details this is a number one brush as you might see for example for let me point to the right spot here the hairband has some nice texture I might um, put a picture in about that so you get the details um, yeah these are my brushes which I which I love and I um, I'm a sloppy person but I take really good care of my brushes and rinse them out quite often also during painting so if I change the color or um, if I just go out for a while um, because I, I love them and I really appreciate and value them um, if it comes to colors I kind of stick to golden most of the pictures are this uh, ultramarine blue um, and I always have another jar because I have a dear friend who gives uh, color to me uh, on my birthday which is really nice so if someone wants to make me happy send me color I love it it's just a nice thickness and the pigments are nice um, recently um, I was a lot in Sweden and uh, they don't have or I couldn't find in Stockholm um, golden paint in big jars only the small tubes and they were a lot more expensive so then I bought liquid tags and they have a really really nice blue I think I'll do a video about these colors later on um, yeah so let me spy on my paper um, colors you know I, I pick golden colors and then to um, mix them I use my favorite pellet knife it's a smaller one um, and I do my mixing on a on a plate on a plate with golden rims and it's really really nice I just like this to have this little extra of love in my creation uh, so I like nice tools and nice things to um, put my color onto yeah and then uh, you might see these golden sun and the moon I still don't get which direction I have to follow with my hand. Da, 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 da. I love gold leaf. Um, and I use gold leaf quite often. I think I put it somewhere. I guess I forgot it. Hang on a sec. So here now all about my gold leaf. Um, for gold leaf it's quite good. There are many tutorials on the internet uh, which you can watch. There are so many techniques. I use a really easy one. Um, I use this kind of milk um, which glues the gold basically onto the material you want to um, make golden and then I use real um, gold leaf which I actually prefer to the fake gold leaf it's just brighter and uh, um, I really like how it's um, applied and and this uh, one sticks to the paper so it's more easily to applicate on the painting I just um, paint what I want to be golden uh, with the milk let it dry for 20 minutes don't touch it you'll have the fingerprints on the gold never ever touch it just wait wait a little longer it doesn't matter or try it on something else I'm not a big trier I normally just want to do it straight so I have on many pictures little fingerprints from trying whether it's dry enough to put the gold leaf on. And um, me and the gold leaf is a, is a big love story. So um, I have a lot of gold leaf going on. Sometimes fake leaf. If it's a, it's a big patch, I, I need to be golden. Like in um, one of my innocent sex scenes, um, we also call it internally the golden man because there's a man completely made out of gold, fake gold leaf. Yeah. Um, this is basically is it um, and my ideas come mostly from um, from other people so when I meet someone I find inspiring then uh, sometimes I think about what is my inner representation of this person and uh, the universe is um, the representation of a person I met in Sweden at a women's workshop and I found her quite inspiring she's an artist as well and when I met her, she was um, thinking about her art, thinking about uh, workshops for women, empowering women a lot. And um, yeah, she's kind of a witch and she lived in a little witch hut where I was allowed to visit her and see her art. That was really, really inspiring. And I dedicate this work to her and I hope she 
She receives it with all the love I painted into it. Um, I hope you like my little explanations and um, maybe we see each other soon. For example, on my uh, Facebook uh, stream, you find me under Ziri Berlin. Um, and um, there I do little videos every day. I have a 99 days vlog uh, challenge going on. And of course, you can also find me on my homepage www.ziriberlin.de Oh, www.ziriberlin.de So now it's super international. Um, yeah, I hope you like my explanations. Just um, give me a thumbs up if you liked it or write me a comment. I'm super happy to answer questions about my paintings and uh, why I'm doing all this. Um, I just love being on tape, I guess. Uh, I hope you have a nice time. Keep painting. Hey, do.